Welcome to another episode in the 23 part collection. We are currently doing 23 LeBron James videos in 23 weeks, and today's episode is on the Golden State Warriors, the 73 and 9 record breaking Golden State Warriors who failed to win an NBA championship because of LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And in this video, each NBA player from the Warriors roster goes in depth on what their thoughts are on LeBron and also what happened in 2016. If you're enjoying the content and you're enjoying the weekly LeBron James videos as a part of this series, there's a playlist on the top right of your screen if you've missed any of the episodes in this series and also linked down below in the comment section, so be sure to check it out. If you appreciate the editing that gets involved within this video, I'd greatly appreciate if you guys could hit that like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes on the next episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. And of course, full credit to all the interviews, podcasts, and clips. They are on the screen right now, so be sure to check them out in their entireties. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. When I was playing for the Warriors and we lost, Kyrie, you know, hit the shot, LeBron hit the block. I'll never forget. You know, just being in the locker room, Steve Kerr comes in and love Steve Kerr. He was just like, that's life sometimes, fellas. You know, we left it all out there, you know, and, you know, that was one of the, I mean, of course he said a lot more, but that was basically, you know, the gist of what he said. And that's true, you know, like you, you can't, you can't play this game and expect moments like that to never happen. After the game. Honestly, it wasn't too much emotional. I, like everybody was mad, but it wasn't too much like you would think. Because guys know like it's been a long season. Guys are chasing the record. I think it's the most, the highest ratings the NBA has ever had of that finals, right? Whole world is watching and we lost, right? We lost a championship. That team that was, that broke the record for 73 wins, we lost. Damn, what happened? The thought of us losing that series just did not cross our mind. And so it was just, uh, it was shock, man. You're up 3-1 and you're already kind of counting, you know, the win is like, oh, right, just get it done. We're about to be two times like defending champs back to back and the whole vibe. Once you up 3-1, you think, you, I mean, you, you think the series is over. Like we like dominating the cast. Like they had no answer for whatever, uh, whatever we were doing. We're going through, we're up, and we're, we're winning games because we're used to winning games. But then we're starting to lose people. People are starting to get banged up. Bogey gets hurt. Our kind of rotation got smacked out of whack versus Draymond being out. Mm. I get hurt in game five. Now Festus has to start, hasn't played a lot of minutes. This happens, that happens, this happens. I get hurt. It just threw everything out of whack. And then because it was 3-1, it got to 3-2. And then Draymond ended up getting suspended. Mm -hmm. And that, like, that momentum switch was like crazy and ironically the game Draymond's out both Braun and Kyrie go for 40 yeah. the first time there they go in the finals they go for 40 apiece I'm like oh could have used Draymond back there back. <laughs> yeah and then that's when like LeBron and and those guys just start going crazy LeBron took over that series the last four games I mean to to come back from three to one this is crazy to even think about and I think they don't get enough credit too, you know? We had no answer for um, what LeBron was doing the last three games. Kyrie hit that big shot, game seven, and man, it was all she wrote. That okay. was one. First team that's 73 and nine. I lost one game yep. in the playoffs yep. at home. They stole momentum, and that's the beauty. Yeah. They get the game six home game. Of a seven, a seven game series, that's the beauty of it. It's not over, we get four wins, and, and they stole momentum. You gotta give them credit. It, it, a lot of things went their way. Mm. Should the league suspend the Draymond? It's questionable. Definitely. Not. LeBron, LeBron did stand over him and all that, and it wasn't really, it was a kind of a nut shot, but he was getting up off the floor. Yeah. Contentious issue there, but. And they came back, you know what I mean? Gotta respect those guys over there. <laughs> The way LeBron was doing this, man, every single game was just unbelievable. Oh, man. This dude is incredible. I mean, just showing crowds on great players, I mean, that's what we have to do. Um, we know that, you know, he leads, he's one of the top guys in the league in transition in terms of scoring, so we're trying to make things difficult for him um, and try to make him just find teammates. I don't know much about Michael Jordan. I always, we always have these conversations about who was the greatest ever. And the fact that you guys keep comparing him to MJ doesn't help at all because <laughs> he's chasing rings. It's like, yo, like at the, the main argument is, well, MJ has six rings. And I don't understand that whole argument. I didn't watch Michael play because I was back in Nigeria. Um, and I see his stuff in arrears now. I always watch his videos in retrospect and all these things. And he's, he was incredible. 
but I can tell you from firsthand that LeBron James, I, if God created somebody to be just a, an athlete, that is what that person is. Being an NBA player, playing in the NBA at this point in my life and seeing what he's doing, I went to two finals back to back. And I know the toll that that takes on you. The he went to nine. Fatigue. It's incredible. He the went to nine finals. And it was an eight straight. This will be, this is eight straight. Yeah, this is eight. I mean, the, the level of what he's doing right now is unbelievable. What Bron has done, like, when you talk about Sicily Tyson, yeah. Bron started in 03. By 2005, Bron was the best player in the NBA. Yeah. In 2020, he was still the best player in the NBA. Shit. He was the best player in the NBA no matter what the game did. The game went from two slugs, like slow big man, to like a stretch four big man, to like back to two big man, to like me, no you, big me man. Me you out there playing the bone of like, backs. And he's been the best no matter what. When you look at the teams, that Braun has carried to championship or carried to the finals. MJ didn't beat the greatest team ever assembled, nor did he run up against the greatest team ever assembled every year. You look at the skill set that Braun has, there's nobody that has ever played the game of basketball that can do what LeBron James does on basketball court. Nobody. LeBron James is incredible. And it just felt like the whole time he just like each game we're getting more we're getting tired. He's just going up and up and up, jumping higher, running faster. In terms of you know one guy being able to change the course of a game the way he can, uh, he controls the pace. He does things that you kind of look like you know, how did how did he, how did he do that? And some of the stuff that he did on a nightly basis it was it was it was spectacular. It was one of the loudest, the loudest sounds I ever heard. Boom! <laughs> and when it happened, I kind of, I was like, damn! <laughs> I was like, yo, that was the loudest. I'm like, what just happened? I, I, I didn't even know he blocked it, but I heard boom. And I was like, man, that was cold. Where did he come from? You know what I mean? Like seeing it in live, in real time, it happened so fast, but obviously, you know, it's been broadcasted everywhere. And it's in yeah. slow motion. So um, you can see, you know, just him coming. It was like a fan moment. I was right. like, man, that was beautiful. When he blocked the shot, I'm like, God dang, that was amazing. Like, I had that energy. Right. Well, I remember one time in the finals, I got the ball on a break, and Andre was behind me, Iguodala, and LeBron was chasing me. He said, you better dunk it. You better dunk it. <laughs> so I went up to flush it, and I almost killed myself because I was nervous. LeBron was going to come by and, and just, you just in awe of, like, I've never seen such a big human move so lightly on his feet. Mm -hmm. Like, his steps are small, but... They're so quick, you know, mm -hmm. it's incredible. And like sometimes you're in, even when you're playing against him, you're in awe, because mm -hmm. it's like the way he can control the tempo of the game, the way he can dominate scoring, passing, you know, just his overall just presence and his IQ, like all that stuff, like we all talk about it. And you have to appreciate your competition if you want to beat him. It sucks that we didn't win it because like you'd always hear about that performance, how we won. That was obviously, you know, a low point for the Dubs at that time, because Everything we went through to get that record, too. Like, we went after that record knowing that probably, you know, it was a lot of slippage towards the end of the year. Like, we was a team who knew how to win. You can always tip your hat to somebody who just outplayed you. And that's what they did for three straight games. Shout out to them, man. They, you know, obviously we had some controversial calls and things <laughs> that went on about guys getting suspended and things like that. And injuries, obviously, Bowles got hurt, too, mm -hmm. um, in that game six. Uh, but shout out to them. Those guys put on the show. And know how it ended. What I, what I say about that 3-1 situation is I've never seen two guys play at that level. For three straight, for three play, straight games. It was the games. craziest thing I've ever yeah. seen. Like, Bron and Cook Kyrie were just on. Like, we play well. They just play better. Well, that was special, man. Still a special team. We didn't finish the job, but that was such a special season. I, 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 hold, I hold that record still dear in my heart, man. Yeah, LeBron is a beast. My goodness. He has like f a triple-double that series. Because LeBron has some of the highest knowledge when it comes to basketball. You know, making these runs, to me, that's why what, what LeBron has done. Uh, incredible. Going, yeah, it, it makes no sense. That's insane. That's mm -hmm. insane. Yeah. And you, you guys had a lot to do with his record in the finals, too. <laughs>
But you, well, back he, to your, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he, he got us. He got our best he team. Did. The, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the 73 win team was, uh, yeah. you know, not our most talented team, but, uh, you know, that that team was oh, steamrolled through everybody and then, and then they got us. So that one stunk. I get asked all the time about, you know, MJ, LeBron, and, and it's such a difficult question to ask. All I know is they're the two, two best players that I've ever witnessed. Um, they're very different, but, you know, however you want to rank them, you know, they're, they're right there together. And let me know what you thought about the video down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and also here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy as a part of this LeBron James series, so be sure to check it out. And I'll catch you guys next week.